made a teacher regret her actions with my autistic son. The teacher was well aware that my son DW has autism and ADHD. He's high functioning and in a normal class with an IEP in place. All he needed was gentle reminder to stay on track once in a while. She was unbelievably strict, hateful with all the students and treated my son worse, often embarrassing him in front of the entire class. My son had a tendency to withdraw within himself when yelled at. He would go still, then start to rock back and forth, indicating a neurological meltdown was on the way. Thankfully she never pushed him that far, but my son went from wanting to go to school all the time to dreading it. Physical symptoms showed up and he was regressing. I sat down with him and had a heart-to-heart -heart talk to him. I was absolutely furious when he revealed everything to me. I hugged him and promised to get him out of that class. As soon as I found out, I started working on getting him transferred to another classroom and have a little one-on-one -on -one sit down with her. Around the same time, my son's insurance dropped him. He was on meds to help him focus for his ADHD. As a result I was spending hours on the phone trying to get new insurance so I could continue to get his ADHD meds. Going off them completely causes severe withdrawal symptoms. He had been off of them for two days at the time. It was when I was taking a much needed break and taking my mom out for errands that I got a scary call from the school nurse. Come immediately. Your son passed out, came to and his blood pressure is too high. I went immediately to the school. I told my sobbing mom to stay put. As I entered the nurse's office I saw his teacher in there babying him and trying to hold it together while tears slid down her face. I had to fight to stay calm. The story I got was that DW had started to feel lightheaded. His teacher noticed and asked if he was okay. My son told her he didn't feel so good and passed out. His best friend, still best buds, rushed forward to pull him from the desk and place on the floor while his teacher called for the nurse. The nurse got there with a wheelchair just as DW came to. He was feeling so weak that he needed to help to get in the wheelchair. The nurse took his vitals debated on whether to call for an ambulance or not. She called me and I told her I was a few minutes away. She gave me a paper with his vitals and other things a doctor would understand. I took DW straight to the ER while telling my mom to chill. The nurse had called ahead to let them know and a few nurses were waiting for us. A couple of hours after I informed the ER pediatrician what happened and gave him the info. He had given DW his meds and was watching to see if his vitals went back to normal. His teacher called tearfully wanting to know how he was. I was in the vending machine area buying drinks. Because of my level of resentment I told her that we didn't know yet, but it didn't look good and he might not make it. Her actions had taken a toll on him and the stress had impacted his heart a great deal. I heard her cry harder before hanging up. The moment I walked back into the room my son and mom both took one look at my face and asked at the same time, what did you do? I told them after a few minutes of failing completely at looking innocent. My mom shook her head and DW started giggling. That wonderful pediatrician gave me a few days worth of DW meds just until I could get him on new insurance. Monday morning when he walked into his class, his teacher promptly burst into tears and was so happy to see him okay. She also spoiled him rotten and when the other students complained she snapped at them. Y'all didn't come close to dying from a heart attack. She actually sincerely apologized to him for the way she treated him and promised to never do it again.